In 21 years of existence, SpaceX has arguably done more to revive the space industry than all of its peers combined. But how did SpaceX, in its infancy, accomplish such a monumental task? After the success of NASA's Apollo missions, humanity finally seemed ready to explore the solar system. But the opposite happened. Several decades of long darkness fell on the space industry, and with no one to challenge its throne, NASA fell into a cycle of stagnation. Then along came SpaceX, standing out as a beacon of light in a world that had long forgotten about the wonders of space. Since then, Elon Musk and his company have reinvented the entire space industry and reignited the flames of innovation, but it didn't happen overnight. Dreaming of exploring space is a common fantasy, especially as our fascination with astronauts and technology grows. In this rapidly advancing era, the aerospace industry is continuously evolving to make the most of its potential. SpaceX, a pioneering company in this field, stands out as a beacon of technological prowess. Their unique approach to rocket manufacturing sets them apart, challenging established norms in the space industry. This achievement is unmatched by any other company, making us wonder, how exactly did SpaceX reinvent the space industry? To understand SpaceX's innovation, consider the analogy often drawn with commercial aviation. If airplanes were discarded after each flight, air travel would be prohibitively expensive. However, airplanes can be refueled and flown again, allowing operators to recover the initial high costs over time. This concept can be applied to orbital rockets as well. With sufficient flight experience, it becomes possible to identify which parts need replacement or repair and how frequently. Assuming fuel costs are low and refurbishment expenses don't exceed building a new rocket, the booster can eventually pay for itself. The key lies in having a steady stream of paying customers, which isn't a challenge given our heavy reliance on space infrastructure. The real key to making space accessible is not just having a reusable rocket, but achieving rapid reusability. This is precisely where SpaceX excels. For years, SpaceX has perfected the art of landing the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket, proving that recovered rocket boosters can be safely reused for subsequent flights. They have even set a record for the fastest turnaround of a single booster, which is an impressive 21 days. Elon Musk has recently set ambitious goals for his Falcon 9 rockets. He aims to have 10 Falcon flights in a month by the end of the year, and then increase it to 12 per month in 2024. If we do the math, this means we could witness between two to three Falcon 9 launches every week. With such a frequent launch schedule, the rocket's reusability potential would be fully harnessed, making space exploration more economically viable and accessible than ever before. The concept of reusability in space exploration isn't new, and has been a topic of study for NASA rocket engineers for many decades. However, NASA initially hesitated to fully embrace this idea. Their perspective was that reusable rockets would only be economically valuable if the frequency of launches was high enough to justify the cost of developing and implementing the technology. When the space shuttle era began, NASA did plan for more frequent launches. The orbiter and solid rocket boosters were designed to be reusable, envisioning the space shuttle as a sort of space truck that could conduct weekly missions to low Earth orbit. However, the space shuttle stood out as an incredibly complex vehicle, possibly the most intricate machinery ever created by humanity. Even over the course of its 30-year program, engineers were constantly discovering new things about it after each flight. The sheer intricacy of the craft meant that it was difficult to foresee what kind of repairs each orbiter would need, adding to the challenge. As a result, it often took months to prepare the shuttle for its next mission, contrary to the initial expectations. This revelation shed light on the challenges of maintaining and refurbishing complex space systems. It also made rocket companies wary of embracing the concept of reusable rockets. Furthermore, the substantial initial investments required for developing reusable technology, combined with uncertain returns on investment, posed a daunting challenge for companies aiming to establish themselves in the fiercely competitive space industry. Despite these initial hesitations, SpaceX's groundbreaking initiatives have showcased that the concept of reusable rockets can genuinely revolutionize the aerospace sector. SpaceX's innovative approach with the Falcon 9 rocket exemplifies its philosophy of viewing failure as a catalyst for innovation. SpaceX's journey inside the space industry began with the Falcon 1, a small rocket with grand ambitions back then. What set Falcon 1 apart was its focus on reusable technology, a pioneering approach at the time when the industry predominantly relied on disposable launch systems. This early commitment to reusability hinted at SpaceX's long-term vision of creating rockets that could be relaunched, thereby revolutionizing the economics of space exploration. 
However, the real breakthrough came with the emergence of the Falcon 9, a rocket that completely transformed the space game and sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. It all started with Falcon 9 version 1.0, which had its inaugural flight in 2010. This version was notable for its two-stage design and featured nine Merlin engines in the first stage, giving the rocket its name. While this initial iteration marked a significant milestone, it was the subsequent Falcon 9 version 1.1 that truly paved the way for reusability, introducing significant improvements such as the deployment of Merlin 1D engines and a circular OctaWeb engine layout. These enhancements substantially increased the rocket's total thrust to an impressive 1.3 million pounds. The year 2015 marked a historic moment for SpaceX when they achieved a monumental feat, successfully bringing back their Falcon 9 rocket to solid ground. This variant of Falcon 9 was the first capable of controlled returns to Earth, a crucial step toward achieving reusability. In April 2018, SpaceX introduced the Block 5 Falcon 9, representing another significant leap forward in their pursuit of reusability. This new version featured several upgrades, including enhancements of the rocket's heat shield, grid fins, and landing legs. At the core of this innovation was its propulsive landing system, a revolutionary departure from traditional rocket designs. Unlike conventional rockets that discarded their first stages after launch, the Falcon 9 was engineered to return to Earth under its own power, enabling it to be rapidly prepared for subsequent missions. After the second stage propels towards space, the first stage begins its return to Earth. The process appears like a radiant display as the engines flare up to slow the booster's speed and change its path, enduring scorching re-entry temperatures. Essential to this return journey are the grid fins, which unfold from the rocket's sides. Much like an airplane's control surfaces, these fins adjust to direct the rocket's descent with unmatched accuracy. The culmination of this technology showcase occurs just before landing. The Falcon 9's engines flare up a final time, allowing it to touch down vertically with finesse. Whether on a drone ship in the ocean or a terrestrial landing zone, this advanced propulsion and landing system set SpaceX apart, representing a paradigm shift not easily duplicated in the aerospace sector. SpaceX has shattered the notion that rockets are disposable, transforming the revolutionary idea of reusability into a tangible reality. This unique capability has propelled the Falcon 9 to the forefront of rocketry, boasting the highest number of launches and landings globally. Remarkably, several Falcon 9 boosters have already achieved an impressive 15 flights each. Initially targeting 10 flights per booster, SpaceX is now ambitiously pushing these rockets to reach a goal of 20 flights per booster. While the Falcon 9 has achieved remarkable feats, SpaceX is harboring even grander ambitions. They are currently in the process of constructing prototypes of their Starship rocket, with dedicated facilities in Texas and Florida for this monumental project. Eager customers are already in the queue, and SpaceX aims to launch its first commercial payload by 2024. Starship is unlike the Falcon 9 in that it is designed to be fully reusable with the goal of completing thousands of flights before any major refurbishments are needed. If SpaceX can successfully get the massive craft up and running, it could potentially replace the Falcon 9 altogether. Starship's ability to launch much heavier payloads for a fraction of the cost comes mainly thanks to the revolutionary Raptor engine. The development of SpaceX's Raptor engine has been a decade-long endeavor, involving multiple iterations and innovations. While at its core, it functions similarly to other engines by burning chemical fuel to generate thrust, Raptor's use of liquid oxygen and methane sets it apart. This unique combination, largely unprecedented, might be SpaceX's secret weapon for exploring the solar system. Unlike SpaceX's existing engine, Merlin, Raptor boasts significant improvements. Firstly, it delivers double the thrust of its predecessor due to a much higher pressure, producing 380,000 pounds of thrust at sea level compared to the previous 190,000 pounds, all while maintaining a similar size. Moreover, Raptor introduces the use of methane, a notable departure from traditional rocket fuels. Methane's advantages are significant. It prevents the buildup of deposits in the engine, a process known as coking, in contrast to other fuels like kerosene. The Raptor engine employs a cutting-edge technology known as a full-flow, staged combustion engine, making it only the third engine in history to use this technique. In contrast, the more common open-cycle system is utilized by Merlin, SpaceX's existing engine. In a full-flow staged combustion engine, a pump spins a turbine to drive the engine. What sets Raptor apart is its use of a pre-burner, 
injecting a small amount of fuel to initiate this process without expending any propellant, unlike traditional open-cycle engines. Raptor maximizes the utilization of every drop of propellant, making it one of the most efficient rocket engines ever built. The outcome of this advanced design is a significantly higher pressure within the Raptor engine compared to Merlin, approximately three times greater. Unlike many previous rocket engines that relied on fuels like kerosene, SpaceX's choice of methane for the Raptor engine offers significant advantages. Scientists believe that methane could be available on the surface of Mars or other celestial bodies, potentially extracted from resources like water and carbon dioxide through a process known as in situ resource utilization. The concept aligns perfectly with SpaceX's ambitious goal of establishing regular trips to and from Mars using the Starship. In 21 years, SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation has reshaped the future of space exploration. From the revolutionary Falcon 9 to the groundbreaking Raptor engine, the boundaries of what's possible are constantly expanding. What once seemed like a dream is on the precipice of becoming reality. If everything goes according to plan, it seems more and more likely that Elon Musk will have his way and make humanity a multi-planetary species. What do you think? Will SpaceX's reinvention of the space industry bear fruit? Or are Musk's ambitions too large for our current capabilities? Share your thoughts in the comments below.